Brian from Syntax Technologies. In today's SQL tutorial video, I'm going to talk about upgrading SQL accounting system and the important setting for SSD registrant user. First of all, SQL version 762 can be used by SSD registrant and non-registrant user. There is some important notes before you upgrade. First, please back up your database, uninstall current version and make sure the bin folder is deleted then only you install the latest version. If you do not delete the bin folder, this error message will show whenever you want to view certain report. For SSD registration, please take note, you must start your SST function. For SSD registration, please replace your GSD ID in your company profile to SST ID. For SSD registration, Please amend all GSD elements in the document, example text invoice, and must save as another format. Now we start our tutorial. Now, example, your current version is 758. Then you need to uninstall this current version, then install the latest version. To do uninstallations, what you need to do is just go to C drive. Normally, your folder is saved into eStream, SQL Accounting. Now, this is all the important folder for SQL Accounting system, bin, db, and share. Then what you need to do is go to bin, look for a program called uninstall. This is the uninstall program. Double click. Yes. After uninstall, please make sure the bin folder is deleted. If not, then delete manually. Then we install the latest version. Run. I accept. Next. Next. Yes. Next. Next. Install. Finish. Then now you are at seven six two. Log in. The first thing that you must do is change the GSD ID in your company profile to your sales tax ID or your service tax ID. Go to file, company profile, report header. Then we change the GST, become your service tax ID. Then change the service tax ID, then click save. Then the second step is to activate your SSD. Click start. Now, this is your SSD effective date according to the letter from custom. Next, sales tax number or service tax number. Next, next. So, your service tax or sales tax. SD part. And finish. Okay, log in again. Then your company profile will have your service tax number. Remember, service tax number over here must be same as your report header. Meaning that this is not same, then it's wrong. So we use the correct one. This is the second step. The third step is to change the document GSD element to SSD element. Example, watch sales invoice, double click, preview. Example, you are using this format. Okay. This is text invoice. 
with all the GST element, click the name blue color at this bottom, click tax invoice, click here, change to invoice. And over here, double click. Move up, the, move up this square, double click. Total exclude GST change to total exclude tax. GST amount at 6%. And tax amount at 6% or you are sales tax 5% or whatsoever, then you ch change accordingly. Then total include GST, then this one is total include tax. At this bottom, nothing, but go to document details. We see that this is tax code. Then we change this tax code become tax rate. File. Save as another document. Please remember, you cannot replace your current GST format. You must save as another SST format. Because let's say your customer requests tax invoice from you using the previous format, you must able to give to your customer. So cannot replace. So save as maybe 01 SST invoice. Save, close, close. Okay, let's do a new invoice under SSD error. Tax rate is 6%, so this is the amount. Add another item. Save, preview, select this format, okay. A SST invoice must have few elements. Invoice, invoice number, date, your company name address, SST ID, customer company name, address, item description, quantity, price exclude SST, SST amount 6%, let's say your service tax, total amount include SST, SST rate, and total. So this is all the compulsory steps for SST. Once again, I'm Brian from Syntax. There will be other tutorial video coming up soon. So please stay tuned at my Facebook, facebook.com slash syntax.logist.